Yeah. All right, we're out here this morning at Shadow Cliffs in Pleasanton. And I've got my first mate right here. And this guy. So I haven't caught a trout in about 15 years, so no pressure, Adam. But I'm here to catch my first trout in a long time and uh, this guy's first trout. So we've got the Fish Finder 360, we've got the, or the Fish Hunter 360, and we've got a new Fish Finder here. This is the Garmin um, 4 CV something or other. And uh, no excuses today. So we're gonna troll. Adam's nice enough to get me set up while I get my kid and all of my gear set up. And since my last video, I've made a little bit of upgrades to the entire raft. I got um, eight rod holders total. Even though I'll, legally I can only fish two, maybe three or four with, with the kiddo, uh, but I got a fishnet and a ton of stuff. So a lot of options, that's right. We like options and fish like options. So, all right, they just stocked a couple days ago. So this is like prime time and just an awesome day out on the lake, super flat. It's not a very big lake. It's more like a really big pond or small reservoir or something. Um, so anyway, yeah. Well, let's show you the rigs. All right, first line in the water, and we've got a really light, uh, I think you said eight, eight ounce uh, egg weight, yeah. and like a four foot, four pound uh, floral leader, maybe three foot, with a little white grub and a size, what is that, like a size eight hook? Okay, cool, that's yep. gonna be yours. So what we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in the uh, one of the holders, Joaquin, and then we're gonna start moving. And if you hear it click, that means there's a fish on it, and let you reel it in. Does it sound good? All right, let's do it. There's Die Hard Fishing. No luck for him either. Actually, he said he had a bite earlier, uh, but I don't think he uh, I don't think he was able to land it. I don't think he had quite committed to the hook yet. So we're still here. We're like, I don't know, two hours in, no bites. A lot of guys are catching from shore. Uh, there's a nice shoreline here, a bunch of piers, and I've got four rods out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight rod holders, but I can only use four, of course. So I have a, in California, um, you know, you need a fishing license for one. You need a fishing license for one, and you need a second rod stamp for two. So uh, since he's under the age of 16, was it 15 or 16, that I think you uh, can get away uh, without having a fishing license. Um, I'm pretty sure he can run two, uh, even though he doesn't have a license, but because he's underage. So technically I have four. And uh, this is great, uh, you know, opportunity to bond with the little guy. But more importantly, I get his two extra rods. But if there's any bites today, he's the one that's going to be reeling it in. So if he loses the fish, uh, you can't blame me, and he's grounded. So nice win-win uh, scenario for me. So hopefully we'll hook up. Fingers crossed. Come on, Waki, let's go catch something. Fish on, fish on. You do it, you do it. Oh. Think. Come on. Oh, shoot. Go reel it. Oh, okay. Reel it in, baby. Reel it in, baby. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Just reel, 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 reel. Fast, 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 fast. Oh, you let it go. Joaquin, we had a fish. Almost had it. Shoot. But you saw that, right? I did it. Did you see that? Had one. Lost it. Oh. That was close. We'll get the next one, okay? Start reeling, bud. Okay, nice and slow. Ooh, he's coming. Good job, good job. Good job, good job. Yeah, all my lines are in. He's just gonna get tangled. Good job, Waki. Let me get the net. I get the net. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, I can't reach it. Oh no, I got this one. Did it jump? Did it? Yeah. All right. Oh, he's running. He's running. 
I get it. Go, go, go. Just keep reeling. Don't yes, stop. Yes. Don't you stop. Have to tire him out. Yeah. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Keep reeling. Oh. Okay. 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 Turn him. Turn him. Dude, that's Ooh. a good one. Oh, I just saw one. Dude. I just dude. see it. I just see oh. it. Oh. 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 Wait. Why, why is it not reeling? Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. 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 Dude, this is a fat ass. <laughs> Whoa, Joaquin, you got it. You reeled it in, dude. Dude, this one's huge. Oh my god. Whoa, Joaquin, you did. Oh, he hit the. Okay, he hit the egg weight. Joaquin, you did it. Yes. You caught one. Yeah. Well, <laughs> die hard. With the, with the, with the pity trout. Wow. Is that heavy? Joaquin, look at this. You reeled this in all by yourself. Blasting. All right, you guys ready for this guy? Joaquin, check this out. Get ready. This is going to be your fish. Whoa. <laughs> Come back. You're the one that, you caught it. Come back. Damn, dude, this might be the biggest one. Uh, whoa, that's a lassen. Joaquin, you reel this guy in. Does he have a... Oh. Oh. Jeepers. Alright, Joaquin, you ready to see your fish? I want to hold it. <laughs> Whoa. I wanna, Joaquin! I hold you, it. Caught, you caught this guy! I don't hold Joaquin, look! I don't want to hold it! <laughs> you caught it! Alright. <laughs> Compliments to Die Hard Fishing. Uh, he's the one that snagged this guy in one of his uh, go-to... Uh, Grubs, I think it was a, a white grub tail. White, white and chartreuse. White chartreuse grub tail. Joaquin, look. Yeah, yeah. Come on, this is the thumbnail. Just go, just go like this. Go look at the camera. And go. Bleh. <laughs> look, look, Joaquin, look at me and go. Bleh. No. <laughs> no, this me. Joaquin, look. There's a dragonfly on me. Joaquin, look. Oh. <laughs> so here's the fish, Joaquin, and his fish. Probably about four or five pounds. Yeah, he's a good Definitely one. I'd say four or five. Day. Yeah, this is uh, easily the biggest trout I think I've ever seen. This is a lassen, so this is uh, definitely steroided up, but it counts. <laughs> yeah, couldn't get couldn't get a fish uh, on my stuff today, but thankfully uh, Die Hard Fishing was on fire. He was able to get all his stuff. Right, Joaquin? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Okay, so we caught the fish and I brought it over to my mom's place. You guys liked that other video where my mom cooked so much that uh, she was willing to cook it again. Sure. So say hi to YouTube again, mom. Hi, <laughs> here we go again. So I just wanted to show you the difference between a lassen trout and a, a stock rainbow trout that you can buy at any store really. So the lassen trout almost has kind of a, a salmon uh, consistency. Yeah, and, uh, it looks like salmon. It does, it looks like salmon. I mean, it's really big, it's kind of vibrant and orange. I did have to put this in the freezer for a few nights before we cooked it. And this little rainbow trout, <laughs> we just bought at our local market. So, I mean, you can kind of really see the difference in, in, I don't know, in size, number one. And then look at the difference in flesh color. So Yeah, it's white. It's white and kind of gray compared to this, mm. to this massive lassen trout. I think the trout weighed in at about five pounds. This thing can't be much more than one pound. So just a, a different, a visual difference in the, uh, in the type of meat and the size of the fish that you can actually catch. So, so what do you think it's going to taste like? Uh, the lassen. I will not know till we ate it. Yeah. So, uh, have, you, have you ever had it before? Not this one. I had this. Yeah. Do you really like to eat trout? Yeah, I like trout. So let them know how we're going to prepare it today. Okay, so we're going to just deep fry it and uh, we'll see what happens after. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, thanks again for cooking. Let's get to it. All right. I'm going to put uh, vegetable oil so I can pan fry the trout. Not too much. I'm going to put a little slit on this face. So I can put a, uh, I can put a uh, salt and pepper. So I can put a little salt in here, so it go inside. 
and you put a little bit inside here since this one is open meat you don't have to put a slit so because right here you can put the salt and pepper and it will absorb okay there's another piece Turn it up a little bit. And I usually cover it because so the oil will not splash. So you just cover the trout? Do you have to flip it or do you think there's enough heat that'll cook through? No, I'm gonna flip it uh, on the other side to make sure that both sides are cooked. I'm gonna check if it's uh, a little bit brown, then it's time to, to flip it. So I'm gonna flip it now, but before you flip it, you're gonna turn the fire low so the oil will not splash on you. And also, make sure you wear gloves and long sleeves so you don't burn yourself because there's a tendency that the oil will splash onto your body. So prevent it from uh, getting burned. So load the fire, and then open it. Flip it. See how beautiful it is? It's flipping. Okay. We're flipping another one. again to prevent the oil from splashing and turn the fire up again. I'm gonna take it up from the oil. Let it drip first and put it in a, like in paper towel so the oil will be absorbed in the paper towel. So here we have the uh, fried uh, store-bought rainbow stock trout and just half of that five pound lassen that my son was able to reel in. So big thanks to Adam for actually hooking it and handing over the rod. That was pretty cool. I think that was the first, if not not the first, but by far the biggest fish that my son's ever reeled in, so I consider that a catch. So really excited to, to taste yeah. and test the difference between a huge massive lass and trout uh, and this uh, stock rainbow. So let's give it a try. Maybe uh, do the uh, stock rainbow trout first because that's what we kind of know. Okay. And that's the taste we know, right? Okay. Try it here. Okay. And try this. Is it rainbow trout? This is the rainbow trout. So this is what... You know, I, this is at least what my mom and you know my parents used to, to buy you know on the way home from work and fry for uh, myself and my you sister. You can put a little up, bit so. of lemon. Okay. Careful of uh, bones. Okay. So I haven't had this in a while, so it's gonna take me back. Watch. It's good. It's good. I want to try this one. You know, it looks like salmon, huh? Yeah. So the stock trout, you know, we just deep, kind of pan fried it um, with the skin on, leaves it a little crispy. The thing about the stock trout, the flavor is good. I mean, it's not as good as the ones they'll catch up in the Sierras, and the skin is pretty thin. Um, you know, I was expecting like a big crunch, um, but it's almost like it's almost like kind of like a waxy paper that's been fried. <laughs> it doesn't have the flavor that uh, you get when you catch a wild trout. So that's okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. Careful okay. the bones. Okay. Okay. All let's right. let's try this one. It's so like really salmon. Yeah. Taste it and, and let me taste it with you. So this is the big uh, lassen piece right here. This is pretty good, you know. Wow. Tasty, huh? Very tasty. Ooh, you know what it tastes like? Uh-huh. It tastes just like what it looks like. It tastes like a salmon. Yeah. It's very tasty compared to this. Oh yeah. You know what this tastes like? It tastes like it doesn't taste like trout at all. It tastes like a very light uh, 
flaky salmon. I mean, salmon can be oily depending on how you prepare it. If you kind of pan fry salmon like this, um, there is a lot more oil, I think, uh, just natural oil. Is this from oil. ocean? Or, or like, like This is from a lake. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tastes good. I think they stock them and I think they breed and raise them in Oregon and then truck them down here. Oh. Put them in the lakes for. for Let's go catch some more. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's good, huh? Okay. Thanks again for watching. Big shout out to uh, Die Hard Fishing for uh, helping us um, land that fish. It was a, an awesome day, awesome experience. Um, and I definitely encourage you guys to uh, try lass and trout. Super fun to catch, even uh, funner to eat, apparently. So, awesome time. So, thanks again for, uh, oh, too, uh, for the, you know, I got so much uh, feedback from the last video. You guys said you wanted to see my mom cook. So, she threw this to get, uh, together really quickly. So, thanks again for the positive feedback. And again, if you want to see her cooking again, like the video and uh, we'll get you back uh, with the next thing I catch. Maybe a link cod, maybe yeah. a big rock fish, no maybe, a, maybe a surf striper finally. Next time I'll make fish soup. Oh, fish soup? Ooh. Uh, with tamarind. All right, you heard it here. The next uh, rock fish excursion I go on, I'm going to bring it here uh, and hand it over. So from tamarind fish soup. Sounds delicious. Okay. All right, thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one. All right. Peace. Bye. <laughs> It's good.